Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've done this. I don't know how long, but a while. It's so many of you guys out there have sent your collections to be roasted. The ones that I'm gonna be doing today were sent to me back in September of last year. Also, any of you guys watching this today, if you want your collection roasted, go ahead and shoot me an email, ginsenseonline at gmail.com. Just put in fragrance roast in the title. All right, guys, it's roast time. I want to thank everybody that sent their collection to me. This is all in good fun. Thank you guys for sending stuff my way. All right, first up, Mark Harris. Hey, bro, I need you to roast my wives in my collection, especially hers, so she stops buying. I've got around 270 bottles and she has over 400. But disclaimer, he has put his daughters through school. They own their cars and their home. They both have solid and respectable jobs. And they don't go without things just to buy fragrances. So he's got everything in order. And really that's that's the way to be. That's the dream, isn't it? I don't know if the dream is specifically, you know, to be able to just buy a crap ton of fragrances, but, but the dream is to have everything in order. And he says, see, you know, since COVID, all the world traveling money has gone into new fragrances. I get how that is. My traveling is basically relegated to going to like, TJ Maxx and a fast food restaurant or something. And this is Mark from Aussie Fragrance. He's got a YouTube channel where he covers fragrances. So I'll leave a link in the description. Check him out. All right, let's check out this collection. Well, first off, obviously pretty sick collection. That being said, obviously you need to step up your purchasing game even more because your wife is crushing you and you can tell. I mean, she's flexing on you. Her collection is higher end. It looks like she's got more niche fragrances than you do. She's got better discontinued fragrances than you do. She's claimed the entire top of your wardrobe here. She even has a bird cage, fragrance cage. I and mean, she's just flexing all over you. It's like, you're the one with the channel, but not really. Also, I love this about fragrance people. To somebody who doesn't know anything about anything, they would look at this and just be like, oh my God, it makes no sense. But then fragrance people are like, oh yeah, okay. I see you got the, the fragrances. Uh, all from the same brand put together. So Mark, I like your collection in the sense that you have a whole lot of stuff just like me, just this kind of mishmash of designer, indie, and niche, and some discontinued stuff thrown in. Uh, you definitely get points for the Varvados Rock Volume 1 bottle. You can go ahead and sell that at some point, get a little extra money for when you wanna go traveling the world again, whenever that is. Truly, the reason your wife needs to stop buying so much is so your part of the collection can catch up to hers. Thanks for sending your stuff in though, Mark. Shout out to you. Next up, we got Alex. It's Alex slash yummy dirt here. Good name. I'm a bit opinionated about fragrance and a wannabe niche knob, but I also have a directionless collection of garbage. Roast me, please. I love it. <laughs> Let's see what you got going on here, Alex. First off, I'd like to thank you for taking all these pictures with your Motorola flip phone from 2006. Really appreciate that. Great lighting. You know, everything just looks Awesome, on point. I'd also like to say, I love your random smattering of fragrances that make no sense. You've got niche fragrances in here, tiny bottles in here, cheapies in here, clones next to expensive niche fragrances, designers that were hyped like flavor of the week designers, just a little bit of everything here, kind of shotgunned out into one cabinet. I am assuming that you have a lady friend and that's why a lot of these fragrances are for the ladies, if not, Seems like you just have a buying issue where you pick up whatever's in the clearance bin that day, wherever you're at. Truly, this, this chaotic mix of fragrances is the best part of the collection. You've got Tom Ford's in random spots, Lalique's in random spots, nothing is really together. It's chaos. A true descent into fragrance madness. I love it. Next up, we've got AD. Hey Ash, great channel you have there. Thanks. Thanks. I've been supporting you for a while now. Keep up the good work. I'll try. Here's a picture of my fragrance collection. Feel free to roast it or feature it in your collection judging videos. Roast video for you. Hmm. So what you've got here is a greatest hits collection. For most all the brands here, basically what you have is the fragrances that they're most well known for. Basically you went, oh, I gotta get a Creed. I'll get a Ventus. I gotta get a Mancera. I'll get Citra Poise. I gotta get a Tom Ford. I'll get Oud Wood. Just whatever the most basic stuff is for that brand, that's what you got. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing because the, the best hits are the best hits for a reason, but still. 
And my favorite part about this picture and this collection is that little fake Layla Bow bottle sitting in the corner. It's like the black sheep of your collection. You had to put it in there because you own it, but you didn't really want people to pay much attention to it. So you kind of shove it off in the corner there. You're like, oh, hopefully nobody really pays attention to this. Let me just, just scoop that over there. I'm sure they'll see the Tom Fords and the Nasa Mottos and that sweet ultra zest in the back. No, I see it. Uh, lifetime? What is that? What's gonna be hilarious is if that's some random super high-end niche fragrance, but I don't think it is. When you look really close, it's got that Le Labo style where it's like created on this date, blah, blah, blah. We're ripping off another brand, check it out. Truly though, really nice setup, looks classy, great setup of fragrances and bonus points for the discontinued Dolce & Gabbana. Check it out, I got one too. Really though, this fragrance, really though, this fragrance collection is almost class overload. Too classy. What are, you, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to prove? Up next, we've got Martin. Big fan of your channel, and I have to say you, along with a few other influences, really got me into fragrances this last year. Anyhow, here's a few pictures of my collection to be roasted or showed off. I'm going to mention the last photo is more or less made to be roasted. So we're gonna take a quick look at that first photo, but then we're gonna keep it moving. He, he said we should. So looking at this first page here, I'm not sure I trust that Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum hairspray decant, just saying. But I mean, if you're happy, I'm happy. Still though, I, I don't I don't trust it. And one thing that I always love in these collections because I don't have it is those baby bottles, those little tiny freakishly small bottles of fragrance. They're so pointless and yet so cute. Let's keep it moving though, because he said specifically the third page, the second page is gonna give me an aneurysm or anxiety or both. At least you're sampling your fragrances first. So that's nice, thumbs up for that unless those little travel sprays are from Scentbird. In that case, thumbs down. Third page though, let's check that. This is truly bargain bin. I like how you place those Cuba bottles very close to the camera, giving a girthy appearance. I can't hate on the 4711. I mean, you got the tiniest one possible, but 4711 is an OG fragrance, so nothing bad to say about that. Everything else truly is the bargainest of the bargain bins. But what's really drawing my eye here, is that raw chemistry. Please tell me you did not buy the raw chemistry pheromone spray because you thought that stuff would work. Did you seriously think that that was going to get you laid? Pheromones don't work, my man. That stuff won't even get a dog dump your leg. It's a greasy mess of a fragrance that leaves a grotesque sheen anywhere that you spray it. I'm disappointed in you. Take that raw chemistry, throw it away, Martin. For all that's holy, get rid of it. It's not gonna help you. It actually hurts you. It, it makes it where you don't get ladies. It's like a repellent. Next up, we got Bama Man. I would love it if you would roast my collection. My channel is Big Bama 34. All right, box hoarder gang checking in. Am I right? I, oh wait, yeah, that's me too, actually. So for some reason, my eye is drawn just immediately to this ombre oud intense parfum. So that's an Armoff style bottle because I have a fragrance from Armoff that's in that exact same style, but I, I don't know that one. So I'm gonna look it up. Ombre oud intense. What? This is not right. It's, did you pay this much for that fragrance? Surely not. $175 on eBay or $139.99 at Fragrance Outlet for an Armoth? I mean, I don't know where you bought it from. So I'm going to assume you got it for less than that because looking at that bottle and knowing it's an Armoth, if you paid almost $150 for that, I don't know what to say, man. How is it out of stock at the Fragrance Outlet? People legitimately bought this for 140 bucks? Oh, it's from their exclusive selection. Oh boy. Armoff, are you leaving reviews of your own fragrances again? Rudy C, definitely not Armoff says, Panty Droppa, love the smell, very warm, soft smell that lingers. We'll have strangers asking you what you're wearing. I guarantee you will get laid. Dumbfounded, holy crap. I can also see that you have the elite big brain combo going on, Club de Nuit Intense Man and Demeter Pineapple. Very tricky. See the Club de Nuit Intense Man, the opening is pretty harsh and lemony, doesn't really smell pineapple-y like Aventus. So that's where the big brain energy comes into play. 
you get Demeter pineapple, which is pretty simplistic and just pineapple-y, you layer them, and suddenly, Club de Nuit Intense Man's opening doesn't smell like trash anymore. Next picture, everything laid out, same stuff, and oh no. Raw chemistry, again. That's a different bottle. I think that's their older formulation. Guys, you gotta stop with the pheromone spray. Pheromones don't work. Suddenly, I am unbelievably attracted to you and I can't control myself. I don't know what's happening. My body, I can't control it. Uh, pro tip, no, that won't happen. Truly though, I can tell that you like particular brands and I respect that. You got the, the Penguin, the Ralph Lauren, you got the Gucci back there, the Perry Ellis. So you're, you're loyal to these brands, it would appear. And you've got a nice mix of some old school masculine fragrances and some freshies as well. So fair play to you. Toss out there at Raw Chemistry. Next up, we got Sean. Hey, Ash, just watched your video wherein you rate others' collections. I love the idea of doing a collection row, so figured I'd submit mine for review. And he does say that in these pictures, he has a 120 milliliter fake. Yeah, that hurt. Pretty sure I know what that is. Let's take a look. I can feel for you, Sean. I can see that asbestos looking fake Creed box from here, and it doesn't look good. Word of the wise, anytime you see a Creed price that looks a little bit too good to be true, probably is. Hopefully you weren't shopping on wish.com thinking you were being tricky, going, oh man, I can't believe I'm gonna be getting this Aventus for $15, because if that's the case, you deserved it. Otherwise, I feel for you. It does look like at uh, some point you bought a sample box of Mont Blanc fragrances made for ants. So that's very cool that you keep them in there. You know, hey, I own Mont Blanc Explorer. Yeah, it's half a milliliter in a bottle the size of a thimble, but technically I still own it. Technically. Now, most of what you got here makes sense. You've got a lot of fragrances that are great jumping off points. You know, you got some, some scents here that are referenced all the time. So it makes sense. But I do have to say, the peck sniffs. Just get rid of the peck sniffs. First off, the name is terrible. Nobody likes to sniff pecks. And then secondly, the bottle looks like trash and you're realistically never going to wear that with the stuff that you already own. I know you were probably at a TJ Maxx or something. You were wanting to spend just a little tiny bit of money and you saw that sniffing peck and you thought to yourself, hey, I can pick this up and maybe it'll be pretty nice. I can use it as a dumb reach. Maybe I'll wear it to the office sometimes or when I'm just going out on the town, you know, I'll just grab it and spray it and go because it's so cheap, I won't care. That's what you thought and then it's just sitting there and you're never gonna wear it and the thing sucks anyway because it leaks from under the atomizer every time you spray, just toss it. Last but not least, we've got Nasir. Nasir is a fragrance newbie. Hope you like roasting my collection, short, sweet, to the point. So I'm assuming that Nasir is in the Middle East or somewhere where it's very hot. And that makes sense because most of these fragrances here are more powerful fragrances. They got a punch to them. Now I've never been to the Middle East personally, but from what I've heard, you have to have very strong fragrances in order to really be smelled there. Fresh ones, basically you spray them on and then it's like, boop, gone. Just evaporates off your skin. Now, one thing I notice immediately is in a sear, you are blasting those fragrances. Most people, when you look at their collections, everything is 96% like full. You know, got all these bottles that have a tiny dent in them. Most of these have been hit hard. Some of them are hanging on for dear life. You know, they've got like, two milliliters left at the bottom of the bottle. So you have annihilated these. You are just taking these heavy scents and blasting yourself with like 20, 25 sprays, just going out, choking people out. I respect that. I can only imagine in high heat that hitting yourself with that many sprays with a lot of these fragrances that are super strong is just soul crushing to the people that you come around. And I think it's awesome. Keep being Eunice here. Just keep blasting. Also, thank you for the baby bottle of Eros. I love seeing them. Everyone always, when they when they show their collection, they're like, you know, I got this tiny bottle. I don't know if it counts. I'm gonna put it right up at the front. I mean, seriously, there's like three maybe fresh fragrances in this whole lineup. Pfft, nice. Thank you everybody for sending in your collections for roasting. Here really soon, I'll do a collection review where I take a look at your guys' collections in a non-roasting manner. So look for that in the near future. If you want your collection to be featured, go ahead and shoot me an email. Again, jensenseonline at gmail.com. Just let me know if you want it for a roast video or just a normal old video. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.